Welcome back. This is uh, Khan Academy. This is where I like you to type in this address www.khanacademy.org. When you get there, I would like you to click on Take a Challenge. Now, what I did is I actually right click it and I opened up a new tab. And you get to this screen here. Now, the good thing about this is you can actually see all the different challenges that you can take. Now, Here's the thing. I like some of the students. Today you have an option. You have an option either to work on the order of operations. And if you have a look at this order of operations, we can see that it actually leads down to angles, which goes down to triangles, which goes down to trigonometry, which adds up to year 12 stuff. So some students might like to do some activities from that little section there, order of operations. You could also click on this section here and scroll down and do all the activities, all the challenges when it has to do with angles and then we can get into trigonometry. So as you see I'm going right down and you're scrolling down and there's a, quite a lot of challenges and the thing about the challenges is we'll just go down to, to the trigonometry one I'm just going quickly slowly down there and it's probably a good idea there's angles there's a challenge on angles and there's a few more but let's just go to the trigonometry there's perimeter parallel lines more angles right down to it would say trigonometry and you can follow this video along and you can try it and I'm pretty sure it's down there looks like that. there it is okay so we found it click it and as you can see it's taken some time to connect on the internet so you have to be patient a lot of students don't notice that the browser this is the browser uh, is a software program and so it, it takes some time to connect to the internet and here we are uh, still loading up now what's this show scratch pad well the show scratch pad because you're not supposed to use a calculator you can do the calculations here. Now, what is the sign of the angle ABC? Now, when you see something like that, so what they want to know is that middle one there. Can you see that middle one there, B? That's where the angle is. So the angle is here. And we have to follow the same examples. So what were the examples we needed to follow? Well, the first thing is, the side opposite the right angle triangle we say is H the side opposite the angle is O and they say find that sign so we know O and H so sine so you can use your scratch pad sine theta is equal to O over H so what's O? 16 over 20. So what's the sign of the angle? What's that? 16 over 20. So what do we write here? 16 divided by 20. And yeah, you can do the next angle. So you can go on to... Now it says you have to log on. So you would have to have your Gmail account and remember you need to log on so I want you to try some of these activities if you can't do it then I want you to follow their solution all right let's uh, let's just go back a little bit and um, let's go now and let's imagine you wanted to do some 
of the order of operations. Now, why would we want to be interested in doing the order of operations? Well, the reason we want to do order of operations is going to lead us on to, if you have a look, it goes right down and it leads us into equations. And that's going to be our next topic. So let's have a look. You can click on this. Be patient again. It takes a few moments. And, and now we need to do the order of operations. So if you don't know anything about the order of operations, well, you can actually look at these videos. Now, the problem is at the moment at school, we don't have access to YouTube. Uh, we are actually downloading, I will download all the videos so they'll be on the school network, but until that happens, you'll have to do this at home, and that's why you like to do it at home. But, but let's see, one number should replace that. So it's 6 plus 4 plus 3. Well, guess what? It doesn't matter. Six, you can have the brackets 4 plus 3, and that could just be 6. So if I use my scratch pad, show scratch pad, there it is. I can do different colors with scratch pad. So, so I've got these numbers. There they are. Now, would it make any difference if if I did these two and then the six? So guess what? Well, that must be a six there. So you put six there. And uh, great. So you you get it right. And what do we do? We move on to the next question. So what I'd like you to do is try today to do a few things. If you find these activities, the order of operations difficult, then try to go back a little bit back into the past. So go back into these activities here. Also try to do some of the angles. So go down here. You can see how long it is. It's quite a lot. So you go down, and there's the first one of the angles. So either practice your order of operations, or start with angles, and then go on to trigonometry. Now what would happen if you start with angles? What type of questions do we get? Well, there's, there's a nice one. It says measure this angle in degrees. So we move it up, put it right out there, now some people can't measure that, that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So if you wanted to, you could just flick it around, put that right there, see how that little dot there, see that dot there, that's it, you line that up there, there, then swing it so it's leveled. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So what do you reckon the answer is? 60. Fantastic. So that's what I'd like you to do today. I'd like you to uh, practice in a Khan Academy. And uh, just remember, um, you need to put me as your coach. And if you're not sure what my email is, there it is. It's right there, 607-1914-gmail.com. Practice and uh, practice those particular two areas, uh, angles and order of operations. So thank you very much for listening.